Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to find a formula for the described function and state its domain. In this problem, we have a rectangle has a perimeter of 20 meters, and we want to express the area of the rectangle as a function of the length of one of its sides. So the perimeter of a rectangle is equal to the width plus the height plus the width plus the height. Right, it's the sum of all the sides. So if we're gonna say, let w equal the side that we're talking about here, right? we wanna function as the length of one of the sides, let's do it in terms of the width. 20 is equal to w plus w is 2w, plus h plus h is 2h. We can simplify this by dividing everything by two. 10 is equal to w plus h. Right, you can divide everything by two, and the formula still stays exactly equal. So next we want to find the area, which is equal in a rectangle to the width times the height. This is the function that we want, right? We want a of w. This function of w is equal to something. However, what we have right here is not something that's in terms of w, it's w and h. So we want to get rid of this h, so we're going to get it in terms of w. We're going to rewrite this as h is equal to 10 minus w. How did I do that? I subtracted a w from this side, which means this cancels out. And I subtracted a w from this side, which means we have 10 minus w. So therefore, the area is now w times 10 minus w. This is equal to w times 10, 10 w minus w times w minus w squared. Therefore, a of w, this function, is 10w minus w squared. What is the domain of this function? Well, we don't have the square root of anything or a denominator of anything, things that can't be negative or can't be zero. Any value you put in here, you're going to have a valid function output. However, we have to consider the fact that this is describing a real life phenomenon, the area of a rectangle. Therefore, the area itself has to be positive. So let's just write this and we'll worry about the domain separately. 10w minus w squared has to be greater than zero. So how do we do this? Well, we can factor out a w. w times 10 minus w is greater than zero. And this gives us quote unquote zeros of this. If this was a quadratic where we're solving it, w times 10 minus w is equal to zero. Only equal to zero if this is equal to w or this is equal to, or sorry, if this is equal to zero or this is equal to zero. So w is equal to zero or w 10 minus w is equal to zero, in which case 10 is equal to w. So we have our two quote unquote zeros is what I'm calling them. And this is going to be for our inequality, 0 and 10. We have to find on these ranges relative to these points, is it positive or is it negative? So let's plug in this point in here, let's say 5. 5 times 10 minus 5 is equal to 5 times 5, which is 25, which is greater than 0. So in between 0 and 10 is positive no matter what point you pick. That's what we know because we found the zeros. And we know if we don't have any repeating roots, right? We don't have like w squared or 10 minus w cubed. We just have one root w minus w equals zero and one root w equals 10. We know that this alternates negative, positive, negative, positive, and so on. Therefore, this area, a of w is equal to 10, w minus w squared, this is true if w is less than 10 and greater than zero. And these are not inclusive, they don't include the zeros because not only can the area of a rectangle not be negative, the area of a rectangle can't be zero, right? You can't have, you can have a rectangle like this, you can't have one that's just a straight line with no width. So therefore, this is the function that represents the area of a rectangle with perimeter 20 meters with respect to the width.